real jewels in the crown. Knocks that Reading off the break. Basically an exhibition because he'd won the group by then and they were literally smashing the pack up off the break. So it wasn't really, you know, we'll never know if the match had been played properly who would have won that. So no one's really got close Six. to him in this event yet. He's played that blue lovely. He's going to open the reds off of this red. Purposely finishing low on that. Seven. <laughs> refreshing to see isn't it you know every opportunity is looking to open the balls up land low on the black possibly 15. try and bring a few more reds into play here yeah nice little cannon there that's opened up at least another two reds 22. 23. You know, cannons can always go wrong. So if you can pick a target ball and, you know, limit the odds of things going wrong, it can make break building so much more easy. You would know because you hold the record, of course, for the most centuries in any 30. tournament this very event. 23. Yeah, I went on a bit of a mad one. <laughs> I remember the, the last day, actually. 31. I mean, you and you and Phil put me bang under it on the day. <laughs> I think I needed, I can't remember, actually. Was it four or five? I, I think needed? you needed four, yeah. We kept telling you every time we saw you. <laughs> yeah, really pleased that I managed to hold that record. 38. Again there you see Zhao purposely landing high on the blue with the two reds that are adjacent to the middle pockets. He's got a little bit of insurance here if the cannon doesn't go right. But that's worked out absolutely perfect. 43. I think even early on, Dave, you know, it almost having the back of back of his mind that the high break could really come into contention today. So you really want to make as high a break as possible. You know, not just thinking about winning the frame. He'd, he'd love to try and clear the table here. He's actually been a little bit careless with that one. He would have liked to have landed a bit lower on the black. Just to play a soft little cannon into the two reds above the pink. Obviously the shot wasn't on there. He may leave the angle off of this red to, to play that shot next. 51. I don't know if he's been careless there, you know. I think he's actually snookered himself on this red down the cushion. As. Fifty-two. He was a little bit fortunate to uh, still have enough of the cue ball to be able to play that red into the middle. Fifty-nine. So it's a couple of three balls away from two nil. Of course, the best Lou Hyshen can do is a draw. 66. Last match in this group 67. will be a repeat of last year's UK final. It will be Zhao against Luca Brussel. 7th century of this uh, tournament. Remember, this is the seventh match you've played, and they're only short matches.
here and I think the pink just goes so the red above it won't be a problem if he can get onto that 90. pink. 91. As I said before, he'd, he'd love to clear the whole table here just to sort of lay down a, a target for the rest of the group. Full ball he snooker himself. Yeah, he's played that lovely. Yes. So the century's up and the total clearance is looking four. very likely now. As Karen says, uh, setting the marker for the high break if it comes down to that. 105. It's the way he makes it look so easy, and we know it isn't. One hundred and eleven. One hundred and thirteen. He's a real star. He's not just how he plays; it's how he behaves as well. He's a very likable character. One hundred and sixteen. Really enjoy his snooker. Could pose a threat for many years to come. Clearly. 120. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fascinating to see sort of how he how he develops back in China when the tournaments open back up out there. You know, he's going to be a real mega star out there. And Ding Junhui has obviously carried that mantle for many years. You obviously have Zhao coming along, and um, yeah, he's obviously a new new mega star in the world of snooker out there. And this is why breaks like this 130.